Hi Leo, welcome in. There will be no timestamps in this particular reading because this is going to be an extra bonus reading. Whatever comes out is an extended towards your monthly reading that I just did, which you can find in the description box here. So be sure to only take the messages that resonate. If a message does not resonate with you, leave it for someone else. You can always check your other signs or check back next time. So Leo, the first card that came out was the Eight of Pentacles. First message I'm getting for you, Leo, is you are working really hard towards something, okay? The Eight of Pentacles can talk about routine. It can talk about doing something over and over again. But whatever this is that you're doing, that you're working hard toward, Spirit says you're creating a, an opportunity. You're, you're opening the door for more opportunities. So keep doing what you're doing. Look at that, the sun. So it's like creating your own happiness, not relying on anyone else to make you happy, but you. This is boss energy, Leo. You, of course, could be connecting to another Leo or somebody that has a strong Leo placement. I must say, I want to point something out that I see. I only take it if it resonates, but... How do I want to say that? If you are a Leo that is doing something the same way with the Eight of Pentacles, and you're not seeing any sort of different results, you are being guided to highlight that. You are being guided to take a look at that. Now, some of you guys are very comfortable and content with the results, which is fine. But Spirit is saying that in order to see different results, you may have to take a look at the things that you are doing the same way and maybe maybe switch it up. Not quite sure what that means. I can give you a for example. Say you are trying to build muscle or you are trying to do strength training. This is the uh, example I have. If you're not seeing the results you want, you may need to take a look at what is keeping you from getting the results you want. There might be something you're doing over and over again that is preventing you to progress in whatever this particular goal is that needs to be cut out. Now, the sun is just highlighting that and it wants you to get real with yourself, Leo. Okay, however, not for everybody. Let's see. Messages for Leo. Lisa Swords. Okay. Sorry, I keep having to clear my throat, Leo. What is this Ace of Swords about for Leo? Air energy, communication, Seven of Cups and clarity, really. So you're seeing something pretty clearly, or you're going to be getting clarity in the future from what? The Fool, this new beginning of yours, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords. I have to tell you what I'm feeling, Leo, and it feels to me like you're realizing you may be uh, self-sabotaging. I don't think this message is going to resonate with a lot of you. But the Fool, the Seven of Swords is kind of an energy of being foolish. Okay, because the Seven of Swords is next to the Fool. Page of Swords, you see it, right? You, you see exactly what you're doing that is preventing you from moving forward. You have clarity. Now, us as humans, I mean, myself included, we'll see everything we should be doing and we do the complete opposite. It's not just you. And it's not something that I feel like is something that's going to happen for the rest of your life. There's just a particular direction you want to move in and you see it. You know what you need to do to get there. However, there's an energy here of not doing it. So 
Spirit, what is this reading about for Leo? What is this reading about the Seven of Swords, Betrayal? Kind of being so used to, I don't know how to put this other than uh, just simply putting it the way it's coming to me. So please forgive me on my delivery. I'm just here to read tarot. So the reason for the reading is the Seven of Swords. Obviously, there has been a lot of betrayal, a lot of betrayal in your life. And I feel like not only from lovers, but from family members and people who were supposed to be your friend and the betrayal is being highlighted because it's an energy of almost being used to things not working out the way you want them to because you're so used to getting betrayed, but just make sure you're not the one betraying yourself. Doing something to please other people is an act of betrayal to oneself. Allowing energies back into our life that don't belong there is an act of betrayal to ourselves. Saying yes and being a you know super nice person all the time when to people and, and you know there's a fine line, Leo, like because it's like yeah we should be nice to people. Um, nice matters it really does however there's a point to where you know you shouldn't be overly giving of self because that's just poor spiritual hygiene um this is super specific and again i don't feel like it will resonate with a lot of you but your guides are wanting to point out the fact that you may be self-sabotaging on something Ten of Cups, your happiness, sacrificing your happiness for others. Almost like this could even be being in a relationship with someone and afraid to break up with them because you don't want to hurt them or afraid to tell someone how you truly feel because you don't want them to feel some type of way. However, you're stewing and living in this energy of feeling some type of way whether this is in regards to family or love with the Ten of Cups. Five of Wands, conflict. Somebody could be bringing conflict into your life, Leo, okay? Family drama could be coming out, right? And this is all about you setting a firm boundary. So what is a boundary? A boundary is not just simply saying no to people. A boundary is having a certain set of standards, right? And if somebody does not abide by your standards of, you know, what it costs and what it takes to be in your life, putting up a force field, putting up a wall, because it's like, if people can't meet your standards of treating you decently, or whatever your standards may be, if we constantly allow people uh, in our energy field, or we constantly allow people to take advantage of us, that's an act of betrayal to ourselves, because we're not keeping our boundaries, right? You can say you have boundaries, but do you really have boundaries? You don't really have boundaries unless you have a certain set of standards, right? And if people are not meeting those standards, then they have to stay away. Five of Wands, it looks like people are not are not abiding by your standards, right? It's almost like these people don't have standards, so they don't some people don't even know what a standard is. <laughs> I mean. But I am seeing some type of Ten of Cups, Five of Wands, could be family drama, could be someone in the family that is being incredibly sneaky or starting drama. This could be gossip. Could also be a relationship where there's constant arguing.
This is a general reading. King of Cups. Wow, okay. Ten of Wands. Knight of Swords. Don't take responsibility for other people's garbage. Don't take responsibility for other people's BS because the Knight of Swords is here. It's almost like there could be people in your family or people in your life or someone you're in a relationship with that pops off and just says whatever it is they want to say. Do, they do whatever it is they want to do. They don't think. They jump to conclusions. Uh, you know, I'm not a psychologist, but this is narcissistic energy. And it's like they want to take all of their garbage and spew it onto you. They want to take all of their emotional baggage and spew it onto you and make you feel bad about yourself because they feel bad. And then when you don't, this is the kind of person that when you don't um, let them walk all over you, they get even more irate. They get even more with the five of wands. It's kind of like, it's hard to even point out to this person how they're hurting you or how they're making you feel because if you point it out to them they're going to go off the handle so there's a person in your life that is acting like this and then we have this five of cups that just wanted to fall out this five of cups is talking about being very disappointed I'm just feeling like this person is, you know, you could be used to this person disappointing you, but it does look like you're carrying extra weight here. Could be extra emotional baggage or just extra work in general due to this person. And you're getting tired. You're getting very tired. So what's the uh, advice? Eight of Swords. Queen of Wands, don't walk on eggshells. Don't allow this person, because you know what? Enabling this behavior is good. There's a very fine line because I don't know exactly what type of, hopefully this person is not violent with the Five of Wands. However, you are being guided not to limit yourself, okay? Not to, do. don't be too, so, okay, so Eight of Swords is, talks about being insecure. Queen of Wands talks about confidence. Don't allow somebody else to make you feel insecure. Don't allow someone else to attack your confidence. Your advice is to remember who you are. Your advice is to cut ties with somebody here. Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords in Reverse, okay? There's definitely somebody here that is interested in hurting you, hurting your feelings, Almost like your feelings don't matter as much as their feelings. Like your feelings are small and minute. But the Page of Cups just tells me this is an emotionally immature person. But the problem is they expect you to be the emotionally balanced one. This person expects you to be understanding and caring. Meanwhile, they're incredibly uh, emotionally immature. This person lashes out. This person doesn't care who they hurt. They, they don't care who they hurt. And your advice is to not walk on eggshells around a person like this. You know, who you are and what you have to say is not, you shouldn't have to hold back your personality or you shouldn't have to hold back your thoughts and opinions just because there's somebody around you that acts like a complete moron when you have something to say. Queen of Wands, she does what she wants to do. She's social. She's confident. Okay. Eight of Swords. Don't allow somebody to cage you don't be put in somebody else's cage in their box with the eight of swords this is like don't allow someone else to put you in what their what their idea of who they want you to be or who they think you should be doesn't line up with who you are just don't be that person that is trying to make everyone else comfortable or trying to make this person comfortable trying to please this person because you lose yourself when you do that. Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. So and then we have the Devil in Reverse at the bottom of the deck. You know, you're being asked to break free from this energy.
Anything else? Let's get you an angel number. Angel number 16, your guides are wanting you to be perceptive. It says, I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker, and you are, and your angels are asking you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. So yeah, you're an empath or, you know, you are someone that has extra sensory abilities and you can pick up on the emotions and thoughts of other people. And so it does make you feel like you're walking on eggshells, even when people aren't saying anything to you, because you can just feel you're hypersensitive. You're hyper aware, probably because of your family dynamic, probably because of how you grew up. It's like you had as a child, you had to be hyper aware. You could tell by the way somebody somebody was walking or their footsteps. You could because it was a way you protected yourself. You could tell by facial expressions the sound of people's walking if they were in a bad mood or not, because it's how you protected yourself. Now that you are an adult, you have acquired this extra sensory ability. However, you do not have to live your life. In this drama, you do not have to live your life surrounded by energies that are toxic. You have the power to break free from whatever this is. And that's your message, Leo. I hope this gave you some clarity. If it did, thank you so much for liking the video. And until next time, bye.